As I walked down the bustling street with my mother, a knot of unease twisted in my stomach. Today, I was dressed as a girl, and it wasn't by my own choice. My mother insisted that I made a better girl, and I found myself reluctantly donning a dress, a wig, and a face full of makeup that made me look anything but a real girl. The morning had been a struggle. I'd resisted every attempt to turn me into this feminine facade, and the makeup application was a disaster. I had smudged eyeliner, uneven lipstick, and blush that made me look like a clown. My reflection had been a mockery of what my mother had envisioned, but she was undeterred. Had you cooperated this morning, they'd be thinking, what a pretty girl, instead of calling out, hello sissy boy, she scolded as we strolled down the sidewalk. Her words stung, but I kept my head down and tried to blend into the crowd. Passers-by glanced our way, their curious eyes making me feel self-conscious. A few whispered comments, and I heard the occasional giggle from children who couldn't quite figure out what was going on. It was embarrassing, to say the least. My mother's determination to have me fit into this new role was unwavering. She had always wanted a daughter, and since I was her only child, she took it upon herself to mold me into what she wished I could be. Despite my reluctance and discomfort, she believed she was doing what was best for me. The next day, I decided to approach the makeup application more carefully. As I looked at myself in the mirror, I realized that if I was going to go along with my mother's wishes, I might as well try to make the best of it. I took my time, applying the makeup with precision, trying to mimic the looks I had seen on makeup tutorials. The result was surprising, even to me. I looked in the mirror and saw a girl looking back at me. The makeup concealed my features well enough to make me appear convincingly feminine. It was almost as if I had transformed into the girl my mother had always wanted. My mother was thrilled with the improvement and praised my efforts. She insisted that today we would go to the beauty salon together, where I would receive a professional makeover. I reluctantly agreed, knowing that it was another step in fulfilling her vision for me. At the salon, I was greeted by a friendly stylist who made me feel comfortable despite my initial apprehension. She worked her magic, styling my hair, perfecting my makeup, and even helping me choose a lovely dress that accentuated my newfound femininity. The transformation was astonishing, and I couldn't help but smile at my reflection. As we left the salon, my mother beamed with pride, her arm linked with mine. People on the street looked at us, but this time, the reactions were different. Instead of whispers and giggles, there were admiring glances and compliments. It was a strange feeling, to be seen as the girl my mother had always wanted me to be. Although the situation wasn't ideal, I realized that, for the first time, I had made an effort to cooperate, and it had paid off. As I walked down the street, I began to wonder if there was a way to find a balance between my mother's dreams for me and my own desires. Maybe, just maybe, I could use this experience to bridge the gap between our expectations and my own identity, and eventually, find a path that led to self-acceptance.